It was a time with no internet and not even many televisions, but the shock of John F. Kennedy's assassination 60 years ago today spread instantly across the country. 7 News reporter Colin Roos takes a look back at the news coverage from 1963 and how the country continues to mourn. Story told more and more by the yellowing pages of old papers and books rather than those who lived it. But even if you weren't there, the assassination of our 35th president is an event no one has forgotten. John F. Kennedy was both a world leader and an icon of American optimism. And his sudden death on November 22, 1963, at the hands of Lee Harvey Oswald, caused international shock and mourning. But of course, the news wasn't as fast back then. And there was a bell system, a ringer system, to alert newsrooms when something big was happening. Weirton Daily Times editor Ross Galabrisi says the news on that day was literally a stop the presses moment. The afternoon edition of the paper was likely being printed when the news broke around 1.30 p.m. through large Associated Press wire machines. Many people probably didn't hear it until the paper came out an hour or more later. But 60 years haven't just pushed the technology forward. They've also reshaped our views of safety and even how much we trust each other. As Americans at the time, everyone was good with the president riding in an open vehicle for miles and miles and miles. Nobody thought anything about it. Attitudes would be much different today, and so would the news coverage. Today's phone technology makes everyone a photographer, and the release of major news stories takes seconds rather than minutes or hours, not to mention constant Internet access and push notifications. It, there's going to be a camera everywhere. There's going to be someone taking pictures uh, in today's day and age where, uh, you know, not back in the 60s, it was tough to find that type of footage. It may be a story told through news clippings and microfilm rather than streaming high-definition footage, but the decades alone can't fade America's memory of its own modern-day Camelot. Reporting in Steubenville, I'm Colin Roos, working for you. The Sixth Floor Museum at Dealey Plaza in Dallas, Texas, is dedicated to documenting Kennedy's assassination. It just opened a new exhibit tracing his final presidential tour.